I don't want it tagged so I so I can get in. Wait. Right then, so PTFS has updated. This is what's been added. The Embraer 190 Lineage 1000, which is part of the Jets Game Pass. So this is what the plane looks like. That's cool. Sliding opening door. OMG. The Boeing 747 Cargo has been updated along with, as you can see in the background there, along with the Antonov 225. The oh, look at that. AN225 has added a Burin livery. The F-18s had a new livery, which is the F-18, which is the NASA livery. Airport charts have been added to the GUI option. And then obviously, like usual, some bug fixes. So let's check out the Embraer 190. This looks like first class on the train. I was going to say that. This is so Posh. Obviously, there is other liveries. You've even got a TV you can watch. You've got cake, oranges, orange figures, drinks. Is there a toilet? Hang on. Uh, let's have a look. Let me go into free cam. No! Oh, come on! There's no toilets! Are you really bad joking me, Ollie? No, there's no toilets. <laughs> oh, come on. So that's this play. So let's take a look at the other liveries whilst we take whilst we've got it there. So let's scroll down. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'll probably pass it. There it is. So we've got Air Canadian, Air French, JetBlue, KLN, United Airlines, Scandinavian Airlines, the normal Boring white one, KOT Airlines, Americano, that one, Lufthansa, the one we've just checked out, Belter, Britain Airways, Louis, Oantis and Flybe. So they're the new liveries for this plane. So let's run over this way and let's have a look at the 747 and the Antonov 225. So that's just. It's not that one. Okay, let's have a look at the F 18 first. This is the NASA livery on the F 18. This looks very, very cool. Very detailed, and I like it. Does that open? Yes, and that opens. At least it's not Game Pass in case um, both of us are going to fly together on that next time. Blue Angels is, but that could be another video. So, let's see if we can find the 747 and the AN225. Where could it be? It won't be on that list because that's a normal airline spawn. So we need to head over here for the larger aircraft. Nope, we need to head over to cargo for the larger aircraft. Yeah, I assume it's in cargo. So, <coughs> excuse me. Here is the AN225, so here is the shuttle carrier. That looks awesome holy that, moly that looks really really good if i say so myself i was right so apparently there's one added on the 747 as well so we need to have a look 747 shuttle aircraft carrier here's 747 one NASA, United States, this is the US one, and this one is one for Ukraine. Which which one's better? I find that one's better, but you need a game pass for that one, and that one is 
Oh, for free. Bother. Really? The 747 is free, though. So, what's changed, what's changed much other than the big planes coming? The airport charts, as you can see, Great Rockford, Tokyo, Isla Rani. There's probably, yeah, there's all of them. Perth, Larnaca, all these, every single island, including Air Base Gary and McConnell Air Force Base and Dario Scampton. So, and then, of course, there is bug fixes. Other than that, this is mainly it. So which is your favourite plane in from this update? Mine has to be this one, the AN-225 with the Space Shuttle. Well, let me know. Well, I took a screenshot of that because, to me, those two planes with the Space Shuttles on is absolutely flipping brilliant. I told you that, Ollie, it's going to be the next update on the other game. On um, what's it called again? Can't remember. But anyway, that concludes this video. We'll see you next one. Goodbye. Come on.